What is up, y'all? I'm back again. I'm gonna start these, start doing how-to derby videos for y'all. I'm gonna go ahead and start this. This will probably be a part one of two part beginner tech. What you need to start up demo, or at least the helping stuff that will help get you going. As far as the basic tools you need. Any type of good tools, like a good ratchet set, good hammer, you know, hacksaw, wire cutters, wrenches, just an assortment of stuff, you know, random tools, extension cords, and if you're really lucky to have a welder, really helps, it's just a little 90 amp flux core, uh, wire welder from Harbor Freight damn good welder had it about three years now still going good and of course whatever car you're running in case you need a book you know I happen to have two or I have three of these cars same one I'm running this year same year except uh, one's show car one's daily driver and the other's a derby car so got plenty of parts zip ties for your wiring because you will have to do wiring you know, in case you might need it, random nuts and bolts, always helpful. More pliers, tools, more tools, more tools, you know, a basic tool set's all you really need. Then when you get down to actually start building, you're going to need some extra scrap metal lying around for welding material. It's like welding your doors up and whatnot. Then, let's see, go back over here. It's just going to be a quick little deal, by the way. I'll say if you're lucky again, you have a nice uh, air compressor with an assortment of tools. So I've got sprayer, ratchet, uh, impact, all that stuff to go with it. As you can tell, I've been working with tires. Definitely going to need a good set of pry bars. This one here is an actual you know, a tire spoon I use for breaking down tires and for my number nine wire. Damn good tool. The alternative is a good old crowbar, good old fashioned crowbar. Works great. And also for, well I like using it for number nine wire, the stock tire arm, works great for wrapping your number nine wire. Really well. Also works good for punching holes, prying, all other crap. And of course since I'm running Hondas, most cars will have some sort of jack. Like these scissor jacks are handy. For doing random crap. I've got about three or four of those lying around. And they work pretty well for if you need to actually jack the car up or if you're trying to separate a couple pieces of metal, you know, setting your bumper height so you can weld the bumper on, anything like that, they come in handy. Then we get over here. Depending on what your rules allow, you know, random chain. Of different sizes depending on what your rules and what you're using it for uh, angle iron definitely gonna go through a lot of angle iron as far as well not really a whole lot but as far as like your hood for welding cutting you like a I don't know, about six inch piece welding it to your hood and running bolts you know to bolt your hood down strapping more for like doors and whatnot Fuel line, because you will need it. It's nice to have spare radiator hoses. Those come in handy. Random funnels, I've got more. Uh, like I said, once, if you're lucky, again, training coolers. I've got a couple different ones lying around. i got a couple more somewhere else, too. But. And of course, a nice assortment of tires. I've already got three of my mud tires mounted, and I've got one spare. So I'm pretty well set on tires for the year because I run donuts in the back of my car because I run minis. So there's all my tires I should need. If not, I've got one more mud tire. And I've got a couple more spare tires. One of those up there. One of those three. I know this one's going to be for demo because it's got bed belts. And I think it's that one up there is going to be for derby. Those two are for my trailer. 
Then, let's see. Paper towels is a must. I'd go with the Scott shop towels. They work really well. They're cheap. Good to use. Paint kit, whatever type of paint you use, spray paint, roller paint, you know, compressor with a spray gun. You're going to need paint because you know you want to paint your car. And most places nowadays, you have to run a, a uh, roof sign. Mine happens to be an old stop sign. Yeah. Move some of this stuff out of the way. Yeah. As you can tell, just took and bent the edge over, drilled a couple of holes. This actually used to be on a pole for like road construction. Had stop on one side, slow on the other. Yep. Works you as a rip sign though. Really well for that. Battery mount. This is another important thing. You're going to need some sort of type of battery box or mount or something. Milk crates do not work. Do not use a milk crate because you will lose your battery. They do break. This one's out of an old bed frame. Quickly fabbed up. A couple of long bolts from a uh, real king. This is actually a shackle from a shackle kit. And it, it works really well. And another thing I want to point out. Ignitions. When you go run your ignition or whatever, yeah, you can use the stock key. I've done it several times, no problem. I never had really any problems until last year. The key was real sloppy and it would fall out after a couple of good hits. And I did stall the car out once and I was fumbling around for the key. Luckily, I put it on, always put your key on a lanyard and wrap it around your column. That way, if the key does fall out, it doesn't go far from the column big tip on that this is a universal ignition it's a good tight fitting key and I'm probably gonna run this one this year I probably will run it and you know I'm gonna put a linear on it wrap it around the column or wrap it around whatever so it don't fall out it's a good tight fit but some people don't use these because the key can get broken and they just use a toggle switch a push button they all work you know I just try to keep it simple and also if you run a key set up you can't. You don't have to worry about no one trying to start your car and steal it, or whatever. But yeah, Let's see what else is there. Exhaust piping. You might need a little of uh, in case you want to run your header or whatnot. You no, know, I've got some over here. It's gonna be for another car though. Project. My header is somewhere else right now. Can't really show it. But another good thing you need. Sledgehammer. You will need a good sledgehammer. It does come in handy. And maybe some outdoor lighting, which comes in handy. And you got more scrap metal. Any extra metal you can reuse is always a good thing. You know. But I just want to make a quick little video. This is probably gonna be a part one of basics, the derby basics, what you need to start. Some of the stuff you may not need, you know, but it never hurts. So until then, until the next video, later.